Milwaukee children are survivors of gun violence this week alone. We are hearing from neighbors of a three-year-old who police say was shot and killed today in Milwaukee. A two-year-old is recovering after he was shot near 27th and Hope. We begin with breaking news. A three-year-old shot and hurt in a shooting on Milwaukee's northwest side. We begin tonight at 6 by introducing you to Lighthouse, a team of TMJ4 journalists shining a light on impacting issues in our community and guiding people to solutions and holding those in power accountable. Tonight, we're shining a light on the deadly consequences of unintentional shootings of children. To prevent these tragedies, some people want regulations of smart guns, which use biometric features like fingerprints to determine authorized users. Orion Jenkins goes 360 showing different perspectives on this idea. It's kind of hard for me to talk about however I'm going to push through this. Um. Trinika Walker is a local activist, founder of Stop the Violence 53206 and grandmother to forever three year old Akai Stylo. Any kid would be curious, right? He grabbed that gun and he turned it on himself. Nearly two years ago, Akai unintentionally shot and killed himself with an unsecured gun. Real or not, the kids just don't know. He was only three. I visited Trinika at her north side home to talk about the idea of smart guns. When you hear of those technologies, is that a step in the right direction? That right there is, that right there is like um, music to my ears. That would be a great direction to go to, into. Regulating smart gun technology is not a new idea. Former President Barack Obama signed an executive order in 2016 ordering research into the technology. On the campaign trail in 2020, President Biden touted a plan to, quote, ensure 100 percent of firearms sold in America were smart guns, end quote. But to date, no federal rules or regulations are in place. And we don't rely that, we don't rely upon that with uh, aspirin and Tylenol uh, bottles. We put a safety cap so they can't access it. That's Dr. Stephen Hargarten. He studies firearm injuries at the Medical College of Wisconsin. He points out that the Consumer Product Safety Board does not have oversight over gun safety. They have oversight on BB guns. <laughs> they don't have oversight on this consumer product. Dr. Hargarten thinks smart guns would be good for the community. Very uh, depressed teenagers, again, taking the parents a firearm. Uh, stolen guns. They can't use it if the gun is only for the authorized user. While reporting on this story, I learned this technology is already being tested in our community by Milwaukee police. I want you to put your finger on there three times. One, two, three. Okay. I use that same finger. MPD Range Master Sergeant Joseph Sidlachik showed me fingerprint activated locks and locks that trigger an alarm if a secured gun is moved. So it's pretty shrieking. Um, so a child's probably going to put that down, right. you know, and even a burglar. While these tools aren't deployed in the real world, officers test them and provide feedback. Guns and gun violence are very polarizing issues in our world today, and I think that we have been able to find, you know, common ground. Jennifer O'Hare of the activist group Common Ground says it's encouraging to see police interacting with this technology because their approval of weapons can often lead to more market success. In that sense, they're also like influencers. Gun owners want the latest gun technology. They're going to look to what the military and the police departments have. She hopes more law enforcement agencies endorse the new technologies. I don't think there's a gun owner out there that wants their gun to be stolen, that wants their gun to be used in a suicide or be accessed by a young child. Okay. But not everyone is on board with the idea. Honestly, smart guns completely freak me out, right? Eddie Silas invited me to prolific arms in West Dallas. So giving someone a smart gun is not necessarily going to make them smart about the gun, right? Check it out. Eddie creates gun safety focused TikTok videos and hosts gun safety events geared toward youth and their families. Touch the trigger, don't put your finger on there. If you want to affect public safety, put education there first, right? Everything else can wait, right? The smart guns 
for crying out loud, sometimes I can't even get into my phone when I'm looking right at it. Regardless of where you stand on the technology or policies surrounding it, one thing Trinika Walker hopes we all agree on is that it's up to the adults to help protect the kids. They're what's to come. There are presidents, our news reporters, there are community leaders, there are... But if we put a gun in their way, they'll grab it. And then what do we have? In Milwaukee, I'm Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News Lighthouse.